hello friends. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day. Welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, my name is Nova. I play lots of cozy and relaxing video games on my channel. I also try to keep it at a very slow pace so that we can sit down and absorb these video games. And if we're having anxiety or really just feeling anxious about small things or big things, we can just take a moment together and sit down and enjoy a video game. I've always used video games as a way to help me through my anxiety, and I've also had video games help me through some really tough times. So I thought that making a channel that could really help out with anybody that struggles with anything that I can at least be a nice voice for you to listen to. So I was looking for a very cozy and chill game for my channel, and wouldn't you know it, a game came up on my Steam not too long ago and I thought, man, this would be the perfect video game for my channel and what I'm really trying to achieve. So today we are going to be trying out Chill Town. It's supposed to be like Animal Crossing. I think they were very much inspired by Animal Crossing. And to me, that's enough because I just adore those games. So we can do fishing and farming and crafting. It's just perfect. So enough of me rambling on let's go ahead and start up a brand new game in chill town all right here we go hey glad you found the place all right did our directions help the gps always sends people to the wrong building yeah i went there once all the employees have this weird smile on their face i know right who likes being perky all the time <laughs> I like keeping life as relaxed as possible. Me too. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Mimi. And I'm Tutu. And we're your flight concierge here at the Avant Guardian Airlines. Wow, I'm really getting Animal Crossing New Horizon vibes with this one. And it's also super early too. It's 5 a.m. We are going on a very early flight today. We'll be walking you through the onboard process to get you to your destination in no time. And once we get you set up for your flight, it'll be time for an afternoon coffee break. Oh, that sounds perfect. So what's your name, friend? My name is Nova. Go ahead and put, oh, I don't want it to be like screaming at people. Let's put it in lowercase. There we go. My name is Nova. We are now picking our birthday, and it looks like each week is going to be a different season, which is very interesting. I was going to pick the ninth for autumn, unless I'm getting this all wrong, but we'll see where nine lines up at, and I'll put it as the 16th. Autumn 16th. Awesome, looks like we got you booked for a one-way trip to Chill Town. Whoa! Do you like to chill as much as we do? Soaking up the afternoon rays, listening to lo-fi beats, positive vibes, letting the world drift away. Ah, it's always nice meeting other wanderers living on our frequency. Anyway, I'm standing in front of our camera to gather your physical characteristics. Okay, so now we get to make my character and look at the little player models. They're so cute. Oh my goodness, you can have a little cat face. Oh, this is so adorable. Oh, I'm going to have to sit here and craft my character. I think I like this one. I was thinking maybe I would do want to be a cat. But we need to pick my eye color. And my eye color is kind of a darker green. And my eyelash color can be that. Eyebrow color is brown. And let's look at the hair. Oh my goodness. Oh, these are so cute. I kind of like the one with the headband. But I also like the little ponytail. Oh, which one should I go with? Oh, I might go with the ponytail. And my hair is brown. And let's pick our clothes. Oh my goodness, look at these clothes. Oh, so cute. I love the overalls. And I like this one too. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, what should I go with? I kind of want to go with these overalls. And I don't have any glasses. I was thinking maybe I can use freckles, but I think we're all set up. I, I'm adorable. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I love your look, by the way, Nova. 
So stylish. Dude, don't be a creep. <laughs> Sorry, was that awkward to say? I don't think so at all. You think? <laughs> oh, dang. I just heard the pilot starting up the engine. Yeah, you're right. Come on, let's get your luggage on board, Nova. And once we're settled in our seats, it's time for that sweet, sweet coffee break. Oh, I'm starting to like you, Tutu. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Then we'll be in Chill Town in no time. All right, and we are on board. Oh, listen. Oh, we're almost to Chill Town, and we have arrived in Chill Town. Oh, look at all the seagulls and oh, all of the greenery in the background. Oh, I'm so excited. Tutu, next time we fly, can you please remind me to bring earplugs? You were snoring that entire time. <laughs> You see, Mimi, I will not be shamed for my healthy sleeping patterns. <laughs> the gentle lulling of the plane engine, my body's inexplicable tendency to get sleepy after drinking caffeine. You know, that's so true. I always get sleepy after coffee, too. It's so weird. It may have been the best sleep of my life. <laughs> right. Oh, no, but I nearly forgot. Welcome to Chill Town. Oh, yeah. Didn't the mayor want to speak with Nova as soon as we arrived? Indeed, you're part of the first wave of residents to move on to the island, Nova. Oh, how exciting. Yeah, I think mayor had some important city planning he wanted to discuss. I'm impressed you remember, Tutu. Looks like all that sleep helped your memory. <laughs> you should try it sometime, Mimi. <laughs> Shh, enough of you. All right, Nova. Let's get you to the town square to speak with the mayor. All right. Oh, okay. So welcome to Chill Town. We get to meet the mayor in the town square and that is our goal for today. Oh, look at this. This really is like Animal Crossing. Look, we have our little, like our little airports. We have to access the town map. They use the map to navigate your destination. Looks like we can actually see everybody on the map. Okay. And, of course, use our keyboard to move around. Yeah, look, we have our little airports. It's over here at this little spot. It's perfect. I love all the seagulls flying around. Oh, this is beautiful. All right, so let's start making our way over to the town square. And we can actually hit the escape button to check out our journal. Oh, this is so cute. Use the journal to check the detailed information and rewards for the tasks. Okay, and we also have, it looks like that's where events will be at. And also maybe completed quests and stuff. Alright. Look. Oh, guys, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Okay. Let's head over to Town Square. Ooh, there's a little rock here. I might pick that up. An iron nugget, excuse me. Oh, wow. It looks like everyone's over here. Oh, we got little shops. Oh, a little flower area. Oh, some pottery and flowers. Oh, this is beautiful. Let's go ahead and talk to the mayor. Hi, mayor. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Good. That wasn't as long of a walk as I was expecting. Oh, sir, here's Nova, the most recent resident to make landfall. You wanted to see them? Ah, yes. Greetings, Nova. Your name is music to my ears. Come, come. I have so much to tell you. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Otto. Though so my esteemed colleagues here refer me to as the mayor of the picturesque Vista. I'm pretty sure we call you that because you are the mayor, sir. <laughs> In truth, Nova, I tend to think of myself as a little more than an overgrown child with ambition. A lofty dream to build a paradise where visitors from all the corners of the globe can retreat and relax. At least, that is my vision for Chill Town. It may take many moons before it comes into fruition. However, progress here occurs at what might some might describe as the tortoise-like speed here. <laughs> Not to mention, I like to take my fair share of nap breaks, same as the next person. Here, here to that, sir. You know, everyone here is 
already so relatable. Late last year, I sent out a call to the universe for residents who value a chiller pace, and here you are. Chill Island may look rather humble right now, but I am certain with your assistance, along with the help from some more residents on their way this very second, this remarkable locale will develop into an idyllic home. Its foundations built not on productivity, but tranquility. Gosh, I've always get teary-eyed listening to the old mayor talking about this place. Hey, I'm not that old. I know how to chill just as much as the youth, right? Oh, of course. Your chill skills are remarkable, sir. Oh, please. Anywho, Nova, I do have some of the bad news. I'm afraid of our accommodations are not yet that luxurious. But we'll build to that. We must always keep the dream alive, right? Darn straight. For now, I'll have our building crew construct you a tiny house where you can stay until we gather more resources for the grander, grandier abodes. <laughs> With you being part of our first wave of residents, you have the privilege of selecting where you want to lay your first foundation. How about you explore the island a little bit, get your toes in the dirt, fill out where you would like to settle down, and take this to mark where you want the construction crew to construct your tiny house. Oh, we have received a building permit. After that, meet me back at Town Square entrance and we can go over your, your next steps. Excellent speech, sir. The best I've heard yet. Oh, give it a rest, Tutu. Have fun exploring, Nova. Oh, thank you guys so much. Oh, we get furniture if we build our house. Okay, we need to now find a, find a place to build my home. And this is from Otto. And this quest is called Tiny House Big Dreams. Goals, find a place to build your house. Okay, and then we get a desk, a dresser, a chair, and a bed. All right, I will accept that. Thank you all so much. I'm going to go and explore now. Oh, in this little town square here, we have the Misty Hotel. Very nice. We have Town Hall, of course. We have a post office. Oh my gosh, and here's a bulletin board, which I'm sure we're going to be coming over here very soon. Oh, actually, it's different little things from different days. Attention all town chill town years. The weather is looking nice and a whole list of exciting live performances are underway at Union Park in the middle of town. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. I am definitely getting Animal Crossing vibes. We also have a little cafe in a grocery store and it looks like something's being built here. Little construction area. I wonder what they're putting there. Maybe possibly a museum of some kind. All right, so we can activate construction mode and we can build just about anywhere we want to. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to exit that for now because I want to find what is this? What are you? You are a very interesting little creature. Well, I won't bother you too much. Okay, so we have to find the perfect place to build. But uh, let's go ahead and start exploring. Oh, can I not go this way? The bridge is dilapidated and it's fallen into the river. Oh no, so I guess I need to build somewhere over here. I don't think this area would be too bad. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, pick this up. Oh, look at this little beach area. Can I swim at all? Okay, you can't swim. It'd be so perfect to swim over there. <laughs> oh, there's a little crab. Hi, little crabby. Oh, I can pick you up. Oh, I'm not going to bother you. Look, you looked over at me. You can keep on living on the beach as you were. Oh, this is so great. When it comes to um, trying to find a place to put my home, I get a little overwhelmed because I'm not sure... If I am going to end up moving it, which I'm sure I might move it in the future. But I'm trying to find the perfect area. And I really... I'm wondering... Can you not go over there at all? What if someone lives over there? There's a house over there. Let's see. It's just, oh, there's a snail! Oh my gosh, look at the snail. Oh, I guess until we get a museum. Is that a mushroom? Oh! Red mushroom. 
It looks so cute. I think until we get a museum, I'm not going to catch any bugs or anything because I don't want them to live in my pockets for too long. Okay, so it looks like I need to build my house on this island, which is a-okay. Excuse me, little snail. I'm thinking I might even build it over here, kind of away from Town Hall because I feel like it might get a little loud over there. And I love to live in a nice, quiet area. And I can also have my own little personal beach over here by myself. It's perfect. Okay, let's see how the building works in this game. I'm completely new to all of this, so let's see how this works. Um, is this where we build? Building permit is required to build a home, and I have one house. Oh, can I just pick any home? Probably not. Let's see. How does this work? Okay, it told me I can build... Okay, it's going to take me a minute to figure this out. Oh, I see what's happening. There's a stick in the way. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way. And then I can place my home down. I don't know if I want, like, the fanciest home in the catalog, though. I kind of want to start from, you know, rags to riches, if you will. I kind of like this little house here. Oh, it's so cute! I wonder if I can change it later on. Gosh, I'm sure you can. Oh no, this is where I get a little bit worried. Okay, let's see. i zoom out a little bit. Okay, let's put my home here. Are you sure you want to build a house at this location? You won't be able to change the house location until a certain progress is completed. Yes, I think this is perfect. I'm off in the corner by myself. Oh, I didn't even read what that said. I think it said it's going to take a day for the house to be built. Oh, look at this. Can I enter it? The house is under construction. Okay, let's go talk to the mayor. Let's see what he has to tell us. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope I'm not regretting putting my house there, but I think it'll be a-okay. I said that we can change it later on, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, let's talk to the mayor. He looks really excited. All right, we are now talking to the mayor. Oh, there you are, Nova. Isn't the sea air so refreshing here? It gives new life to my city-grown bones. Now then, did you have a chance to decide where you wanted to stay? Yes, I did. Good. Shield Island is such a beauty, wouldn't you agree? We're so lucky to have it. found it in uninhabited and perfect for our laid-back community. Though there are some pesky details about logistics we must discuss. Ugh. Why does everything always have to have pesky details? Ah, uh, come on now. Ah, uh, come now, Tutu. It's not that bad. Your tiny house is included in your travel package through the Avant Guardian Travels. Ah, uh, now there's a perk to write home about. But going forward, you will be on your own to earn resources to pay for more upgrades and additions to your estate. Don't worry though, Nova. The island supports us in many ways. And as you wait for the construction crew to finish building your tiny house, you can stay at the... Oh, we can actually stay at Hotel Misty in town. I chatted with the good staff there, and they've agreed to let you stay for a few days. Oh, that's so nice of them. Nova, you definitely have to try the food at Chez Calmo. It's delicious. And it's so nice that they're letting me stay at the hotel. Oh, Tutu, you'd think grass was delicious if you could stuff your face with it. Here, Nova, take this letter of recommendation to the hotel staff, and you'll be all set. With my signature at the bottom, it carries- Oh, we received the letter of recommendation. Oh, I didn't even get to read what it said. In the meantime, I'm going to head back to Town Hall. Usually around this hour, the city planners set out donuts. Ooh. Feel free to ask me any questions you have about the residents on the island so far. My door is always open, letting in the ocean air. And most importantly, welcome to Chilltown, Nova. The island is your oyster. Oh, this game is so cute, guys. And look, we've got our furniture. Oh, this is so great. All right, now we have a new quest in our journal. And it is check in at Hotel Misty. And this is from Otto the Mayor. Check in at Hotel Misty and get your room. All right, we need to go ahead and do that so I can actually have a place to sleep. 
All right, Hotel Misty is right beside the town hall. And who is this over here? We've been standing here for a while. Rosa. Hey there, I'm Rosa. I'm a botanist selling flowers and bonsai trees here. Nice to meet you, a new player. If you're looking into plants and wanting to explore the world of greenery, come visit my booth. I hope I can help you find the perfect plants. Welcome back. Can I help you? Oh, this is so good. Let's see what she has in her um, shop here. Oh, are these things that we can buy? No way. Oh, this is so cute. We can put all of this in our town. Oh, I'm so excited. She also has furniture and just miscellaneous things. Okay, this is so great. Goodbye. Very nice to meet you, Rosa. So I guess that's her shop over there. And I wanted to talk to this person over here. Hi. This is Mika. I think, or Micah. I'm probably saying this completely wrong. I'm so sorry. Hi, I'm Micah. I heard you're new in town. As a businesswoman at the local market, I am delighted to meet you and offer you some great products. Swing by my stall whenever you get the chance. All right, I want to see what she has too, so let's see. Here you are. Oh, okay. Look at all of this stuff. She even has some food and eggs. So some produce here and there. And lots of little cafe sets and a bus stop and a mailbox. Oh, I have so many ideas for my little town here. Oh, this is so great. Well, it's nice to meet you, Micah. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. It could be Mika or Micah. You're so great. Okay, it's getting kind of late, so I'm going to go ahead and talk to the hotel staff. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to them. Hi, I'm so sorry. Hello, welcome to Hotel Misty. How many, how may we be, how may we be of service? Um, I have a letter of recommendation from Mayor Otto. Ah, yes, you must be Nova. We're so happy to meet you. Mayor Otto inform informed us. Mayor Otto informed us your new home is under construction for a few days, but we're more than happy to host you while you wait. We here at Hotel Misty pride ourselves at our hospitality to all tourists and residents. Please allow us to take your things and show you to your room. We have the seaside suite for you. Oh my gosh, sounds so relaxing. We hope you enjoy your stay with us. Do you want to check? Do you want to check in your room? I would love to check my room out. Here is your key. Have a good time here. Oh, thank you so much. Here is my hotel room, and we can tailor the music to match your mood. Oh, really? Let's check this out. If we go to our phone and music. Oh, wow. You can make your own little playlist. Oh, cozy town. Oh, they have their own like little, like little collections of music. Oh, this is so great. I love what's playing now though. I wonder if it's um copyrighted. <laughs> okay, it's time to take a nap and you can sleep to fast forward to the next day, but I want to check out the hotel room. Oh, this is so great. I can sit down here and write in my journal and talk about how amazing this little chill town is. It's just beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and go to sleep and then we can check to see what happens the next day. And when you go to sleep, you actually get today's income. I, of course, didn't do anything. I just kind of arrived and we get this little screen here. So that's cool. Like, kind of like a daily summary. All right, it is now 7 a.m. I am ready to get up to see what today brings. Let's go ahead and go outside and check. Oh, it looks like the hotel staff is wanting to talk to us. Hi. This is Cora. Oh, hello there. You must be Nova. I've heard so much about you already from Mayor Otto. Pardon the smell. I just finished up prepping for tonight's calamari menu. Oh my gosh. That sounds amazing. But where are my manners? My name is Cora and I am the head chef here at Chez Calamo. I'm delighted to make your acquaintance. How about we get to know each other over a cooking session. I have a little surprise for you. Sure. Great. Now take this. She gave me two eggs. Okay. And we unlocked an omelet recipe. Oh, how nice of you. 
Over here is the hotel kitchen. Let's make a delicious omelet out of this humble ingredient. Since you're new in town, I imagine you might not have a fully set up kitchen just yet. No worries. The hotel kitchen here is at your disposal. It'll be a fun experience. Head over there. I'll guide you through the process of how to make the omelet. You are so kind. So Cora has now given us a quest in our journal. It's called C Cooking Up a Storm. Cook an omelet at the hotel's kitchen. All right, this sounds great. Where is the kitchen? I guess it's in here. Look at this. Okay. I've never cooked an omelet before. This is my first time. So let's see how well I can do. All right, an omelet. A dish made from beaten eggs fried with butter or oil in a frying pan. And it really only requires one egg and actually costs 450 gold, I'm assuming, which is quite a lot for an omelet. But let's go ahead and make one. Cook an omelet. All right, we are making an omelet. Let's see if we are successful. All right, did we do it? We did it. All right, all done. So now let's go and show our omelet dish to Cora. Um, how do I get out of here? This way. All right, Cora. I think I made a pretty good omelet here. Oh, hello there. I'm eagerly anticipating your culinary cre creation. I cooked an omelet. Oh my goodness. This omelet is simply divine. You have a natural talent for cooking. I can see great potential in you becoming a fantastic chef. As a token of my appreciation, please take this stove. I'll be, it'll be a valuable addition to your kitchen whenever you have it set up. Oh my gosh, she just gave me, everyone's given me furniture and a stove. I love it. It's so sweet. Oh, and here's a little tip. When you're ready to set up your kitchen, place the stove there and use the brand new pot you just bought to cook your meals. If you happen to create any new dishes, do bring them to me. I'd love to see what culinary wonders you come up with. By the way, if you don't have a pot yet, you might want to visit the local grocery store in town. They usually have a great selection of kitchen supplies, including pots and pans. Just head over there and I'm sure you'll find the perfect pot to complement your new stove. Happy cooking. So what are your thoughts on fishing from a chef's point of view? Fishing! It's great! What's better than relaxing on the beach and going home with fresh protein? Luckily, the island has plenty of fish in these waters. If you can cook it fast enough without needing to freeze it, that's even better. If you don't know how to fish, you should find my husband, Do. 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 He'll give you a lesson or two on fishing. You should be able to find him somewhere near the harbor if you... If I had to guess, that man can be difficult to track down sometimes. Okay. My first fish. Find Do near the harbor. Alright. Oh, is that an aquarium? I think that's an aquarium. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's go ahead and head on outside. Alright, and we are outside. In another beautiful day here in a chill town. All right, and it looks like Mimi is actually wanting to talk to me. Ah, Nova, there you are. We were just expecting you. Oh, really? Oh, a neighborhood of new friends. Talk to the mayor at town hall. Okay, so I guess I need to go on inside and try to find the mayor somewhere. Whoa, this place is huge. Okay. Um... Let's talk to the mayor first since he's looking a little eager to talk to us. Oh, look at you. I can tell you've already been to the Hotel Misty. Aren't the, bed there, aren't the beds there so squishy and comfy? You're looking more and more refreshed by the second, becoming one with the island. You know what? I think you're right, mayor. But I can see it on your face. You must be wondering what to do while you wait for your house to be built. Yimi, would you like to tell Nova? Um, go to the beach and listen to lo-fi tracks on your headphones for hours. Well, that certainly is always a possibility. But I was thinking more along the lines of getting acquainted with your new neighbors. 
All right, yeah, the residents here are pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Now, I must tell you, Nova, most of the current residents were part of the original exploration party to Chill Island. And these first re residents wanted to stay so bad, they each took up a unique profession in town to make the city function smoothly. I still don't know how any of them were crazy enough to come here on their own. I can barely swing a hammer, let alone survive in the wild. But it's true. You have Cora, the restaurant manager, Du, the outdoorsman, Rosa, the flower girl, Minato, the fishing port manager, Micah, the merchant, and of course, all of the harbor staff. Feel free to get to know them to your heart's content and explore whatever activities you'd like to test around the island. Of course, if you're shy and want more information on anyone in town, just feel free to ask. I'm heading back to my desk, Mayor. Let me know if you need anything. Ah, oh, settled in. I see. Splendid, splendid. Our cozy island thrives on goodwill, my dear friend. Every act you do, welcoming new neighbors, helping around town, it's all a stitch in our communal tapestry. We have devised a nifty way to reward such deeds, you see. Contribution points, or CP. Yes, that's the term they're calling it. To make sure your efforts don't go unnoticed. Oh. Go on my phone? Check your phone, Nova. I've taken the liberty of sending you a new app, the Do Drop Diary. It's your personal CP tally. Keeps your records of all your good deeds. And Do Drop Diary isn't just for CP, mind you. It's, it's your journal, your badge of honor, a testament to all of your island's achievements. It'll help you weave your own tale here. The real fun is what you can do with those CP at our humble general store. You can choose from a wide selection of interior and exterior furnishings, clothing, toys, and technological items. Quite the array of toys, eh? Every stitch matters here, and I can't wait to see your tapestry grow. Good luck and Godspeed, Nova. Oh, this is so sweet. So we have our Dewdrop Diary. Let's check out our mobile phone. And here's our stamps. Oh, cool. So it's kind of like the, um, what do you call that? I can't remember. It's on your Nook phone in the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. You have like a little thing where you can do stamps and stuff. This is so cute. Oh, how great is this? Okay. And it also looks like Tutu wants to talk to me. Well, howdy, Nova. Grab a seat, partner, because I've got something mighty exciting to share. You know, Mayor gave the green light to a project that's going to put Chilltown on the map. And guess what? I want you on board. And I'm going to say it sounds interesting. Tell me more. This project is big, ground shaking, and we need some community spirit to make it happen. That's where you come in, Nova. We're looking for generous hearts to pitch in about 15k steel each. I know it sounds like a heap, but trust me, it's for something extraordinary. Wow, contribute 15k steel to Tutu's community project. Wow. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that just yet. I'm assuming that's what they call their money here, but I could be, I could be wrong. Okay, let's go back outside since they're done talking to me. All right, we are back outside. Let's, let's run over here to see how my house is looking. The construction team is still working really hard on my house. We may have to wait a few more days until we can actually see it ready to go. Me, it looks ready. But I'm sure on the inside it's not ready to go. Actually, whoa! It looks like my house is ready, but it's probably not like, it's probably needs like a check to make sure that it's livable. But look at this! Interior decorations can be completed through construction mode. Whoa. I'm not going to put my furniture in here just yet in case there needs to be like a, you know, somebody come in and check to make sure this place is uh, okay for me to live in. Make sure the ceiling won't come crashing down on me but this is so nice look at the beautiful lighting oh it's perfect okay yeah, let's get out of here all right my friends i think this is the perfect place to end it off on in the next episode i'm hoping that we can 
fix my house up and it's able for me to uh, live in. And we will also go and talk to, I guess his name is Du. I'm probably saying his name wrong. But we will hopefully also get our fishing rod and then we can start doing some fishing. This game is so cute and if you're looking for a very cozy game and just something to relax to, as you can see, this is just beautiful. I've almost started crying. It's so sweet and I can definitely see this becoming a series on my channel. If you enjoyed your time here, don't forget to like and subscribe. I would love to have you a part of my community. And as always, I hope that you all can take care of yourselves and I will see you all in the next episode. All right, my friends, take care. Bye-bye.